dude. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> that's a big net. Oh my, that's a pool net. Oh, there's the water. Holy cow. That is insane. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. We're here at the 3000 gallon saltwater pond and the fish are all going through their treatment right now, but that is not what the video is based off today. We're actually gonna be doing a little rescue, a fish rescue to be exact. The other day we got a call that someone brought in a massive batfish. If you don't know what a batfish is, it's popping up right here on the screen. They're absolutely beautiful. So we ended up getting a call from Mark Sark saying that someone brought in a fish way too big for their aquarium. We didn't realize how big the fish actually was until we saw a picture of it. So pretty much what we're gonna do today is we're gonna head to Mark's Ark, we're gonna check out that fish, see how big he really is in person. Once we get an ideal, we're then gonna try to rescue him and bring him back to a bigger aquarium here at the house. Along with that, we're gonna be giving you a little update on the process of the treatment of the saltwater pond, along with all our sharks and eels. You're probably wondering right now, where are they at? Well, we have them in another quarantine pond right now, and we're gonna get to that, but first, we'll see you guys at Mark's Ark. All right, we're here at Mark's Ark. We're gonna head in, check this bad boy out. See how big he really, really is. Holy, dude. Look at the size of this thing. From that fin to the top fin, I'm saying maybe 13 inches. And then from his face to his end of his tail, probably another like eight to nine inches. So this is a big, big boy. This is actually called a batfish. This is the exact name, Pinat, Pinatus batfish. And this guy is probably one of the biggest I've seen in my life. He does have a little gash on his uh, right side, and that is actually because someone brought him in from an aquarium that he outgrew. He was actually just rubbing against the rocks because it was too small of an aquarium. So they ended up bringing him here. We ended up getting coal, and now we're gonna be picking him up for our saltwater pond. Look at, that's the, uh, wait till he turns back around. Dude, this thing just swimming around, and if we can maybe in the future get another one, because I don't know if these guys like the school, we'll find out a little more information. I'm not sure if these guys like the school, so maybe in the future we can get another one if we can find one that size, or just grow them to that size. But that is the little gash on the side right there. I'm sure that will heal up. But now we just gotta get a worker, and get this guy bagged up. Don't know how we're gonna do it, but uh, yeah, so be ready for this. Oh, there's a cricket, I'm gonna put it on tie. Hey, buddy. What is, oh, it's a cricket. <laughs> Can we feed it to something? We'll eat crickets around here. Hang on. Throw them in there. Throw them in there, buddy. And he there, is well. chameleon food. <laughs> oh, there he is, right He's there in there. front of me. Holy <laughs> cow. All right, well, buddy's got food. A little uh, spare cricket. We got to do what uh, we got to do. This guy even in here. <laughs> that's a big net. Oh, my. That's a pool net. Oh, there you go, Jeremy. That was prime. Mm. Oh, oh. oh, there's the water. <laughs> Boom, right into the bin. That was honestly probably the best way we could have done that. Less stressful as possible on the fish, and she looks good. We got a power pump for the ride home. I think she'll be all set. It's a big fish, dude. It's weird, because it's a big, like, community fish. This isn't like a big grouper or trigger fish. It's, like big angel fish. it's Yeah, it's like a big old angel fish almost. So it's gonna be different, but definitely gonna be pretty cool. All right, well, we're coming. Oh my gosh, oh god. Okay, I gotta slow down. But, don't spill your pancake. Yeah, pancake. <gasps> pancake! <laughs> That's his name. Seriously though, drop some names right now in the comments what we should name this thing. It does look like a pancake. He's honestly one of the coolest fish I think I've ever owned. Just like unique looking. Other than that, we're gonna get this guy packed in the truck here. So he's ready for his ride home. Probably about say 30 minutes oh my gosh look at that thing the grinch 411 we're gonna get him back home that? yeah i do <laughs> <laughs> all right seriously though all jokes aside we're gonna get this big boy home we'll see you guys once we get to the house all righty we're back home we got our big old batfish right here now we did actually stop by aquarium shop on the way home and show andy him and andy gave us a little uh rundown on these guys and he said they're actually pretty hard to keep alive but once you get them past like a certain size they become a lot harder this guy is probably about i would say at least three years old so he's definitely at that stage where he's a hardy hardy fish andy was just mentioning when they're little guys they, they're pretty picky eaters and they just don't do that well so hopefully we have some good luck here we're gonna be adding him 
to the 200 gallon for now until the new salt water pond is ready and then pretty much live the rest of his life in there. But for now, the 200 gallon is plenty big. We really don't have many fish in there. They're all pretty small other than our lobster, but he mostly hides in caves and stuff. So this guy is pretty much just gonna be out in the open, free swimming. And really we're just gonna be able to keep an eye on him a lot better in here than we would a pond and make sure that side of him heals up. And I think everything should go smoothly. So, so before we get him in, we are gonna drip acclimate him for about an hour. He's a big fish. There's a lot of water in this bin. So we'll do an hour and then he should be set to go. Boom, just like that, should be set to go. Look at the colors on this fish real quick. So pretty, dude. That's the little gash he has in there. Apparently that came from the tank he was in before. It was about 120 gallons, and that's one reason they brought him in. He just outgrew it. But while he was in there, he ended up messing his like side up, rubbing on rocks because of how small the tank was. So for the meantime, I'll have a lot more area to swim around and then once he's in the saltwater pond he'll literally have so much room and he'll live the rest of his life there so we got the drip line going slowly gonna drip like that for about an hour once that hour's up we'll pick the camera back up and get this big boy in the tank so this right here is the quarantine pond i set up for the meantime while we're treating the 3,000 gallon pond a lot of these fish in here right now cannot stand the treatment that's going in the 3,000 gallon pond like the other fish can so we had to end up moving them here. We have Hulk along with his buddy right there, the Tessalata, they're both snuggled up right there. Then we have our Stingray, we have our Horn Shark, we have a Bamboo Shark in this cave, we have another Bamboo Shark over there, two more Horn Sharks in that corner, and pretty much just a bunch of invertebrates and little eels. I literally went into the 3,000 gallon pond. I wish I filmed the whole process, but I didn't have anyone here at the time of doing it, and I had to really just do it. So that's what I ended up doing. I literally went in the 3,000 gallon pond, got every invertebrate, every eel, shark, everything literally scaleless in that pond. I got them out, put them in here, and I even, the cool thing about it, when I was going through all the rocks and stuff, I found a lot of invertebrates that I hadn't seen in a while, like little cleaner shrimp, coral banded shrimp, and even some arrow crabs. So this is gonna be their home for the, the next month or so, just until we get the 3,000 gallons situated. And once that's situated, we'll then be moving all the fish to the new saltwater pond, which is 5,600 gallons. So it's gonna be a whole new system, not the same water, no, nothing's gonna be the same in that pond. Everything's gonna be new. And it will kind of just be like a fresh start for everything. But yeah, we're gonna get this guy in the 200 gallon right now. This is a big boy and I am by myself, so bear with me. It'd be a lot easier. Okay, come on, just make this easy, buddy. Come on. Good boy. Okay, he made that really easy. And nice and smoothly you go. Boom. Holy cow. That is insane. Look at how big he is. I mean, holy cow, those fins are something else. And we are back over to our batfish, our big old batfish. I may name this guy Batman. That's a good name, I didn't think about that. Pancake or Batman? You guys gotta let us know in the comments down below. But this is a couple days later and this guy is doing awesome. He's actually already eating, which is a great sign that he is not stressed and um, not really bothered by this aquarium. But remember guys, this is not his forever home. He's gonna be in here for about a month, the same time as like our sharks and everything is quarantining while our new pond is getting set up and ready for these guys to all go into. Hopefully he does good. He's a little scared when we get up to the tank and you know, obviously he can't maneuver that well because he's so big. But once he gets in that saltwater pond and it's round with a bunch of flow, he's literally gonna have endless space to swim around and not really bump into the side of tanks. Because even if you put this fish in like a 400 gallon, it would truthfully be too small and he would not be able to live the rest of his life. This fish still has another like five to 10 inches to grow. So once we get him in that pond, he'll start growing like crazy. It's a beautiful fish. So it will look kind of cool seeing him swim around. It's different. Like I said, he's new to this tank. He's new to seeing us. So when we walk up to the tank he completely freaks out that's kind of normal with fish especially something that big so, so we're gonna let him be but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you give it a thumbs up also comment down below a name with that being said see y'all in the next one see you